is unpacked, but I think I can safely bet that at least one of you has already been eligible for an airdrop. And if you value privacy like me, you probably wish that you had the possibility to claim your tokens on a different address than the, the address that was included in the airdrop snapshot. And ECDSA ZK proofs uh, makes this possible. Uh, my name is Gauthier, I'm an engineer and coordinator at PSC, and I will tell you about what ECDSA ZK proofs are, what are the challenges to generate them, and what are solutions to these challenges. Along um, anonymous airdrops, applications such as anonymous voting or anonymous NFT minting requires you to uh, prove that you're a member of a group. And this consists, in the, in the context of Ethereum applications, this means proving that you own an address which is part of a list. This brings us to ECDSA signatures. And remember, we're interested in private applications. And the problem is inside this ECD signatures, you can recover the public key. And public is not very private, so what do you do? ZK engineering to the rescue, you say, let's put this into a snark. And now you can claim that you own an address which is part of a list without telling which address. The problem now is that um, computing ECDSA into a snark is complicated due to something called wrong field arithmetic. Uh, the most common proving frameworks for ZK rely on which um, uses a curve called BN254, which, as the name suggests, uses, has a bit length of 254 bits. And the stuff you want to prove you can do, uh, that you can compute uh, ECDSA signature, uses a curve that has two bits more, ECCP K2, uh, 255k1, 6k1, sorry. And this bit mismatch um, is bad. Think about having a long tweet that you need to split in a thread of smaller tweets. It's uh, extra work, it's complicated, and for ZK circuit, it means uh, more constraints and longer proving time. So instead, what, what you can do is sidestep this problem and use uh, snack friendly curves like Poseidon or uh, Baby Jub Jub, and then you get applications like Semaphore or Tornado Cache. The drawbacks here are that introduce, it introduces new secret, and people are bad at managing secrets, and that the size of the anonymity set depends on how many people interacted with the protocol before you. Uh, that's why it would be better if you could really perform this ECDSA signature verification into the snack. And with these tools, you can. So this list is maybe incomplete. Uh, the first of these tools, Circom ECDSA, built by Xerox Park, uses Circom, and with it, you can generate proofs in around five minutes uh, outside the browser. Outside the browser is bad for privacy because you don't want to leak to a server the link between your, your proof inputs and your proof result. To fulfill this need for client-side proving, Personal labs um, improved on Circom ECDSA and built efficient ECDSA and then Spartan ECDSA. Spartan ECDSA combines uh, Spartan from Microsoft uh, with a fork of Circom. Uh, by forking Circom, they could pick a curve that is compatible with right field arithmetic, and this, this, this decreases a lot the circuit, and they're able to build. Uh, proofs in less than five seconds if you deal with public keys instead of addresses. Then there's also Ax uh, Halo Tulip from Axiom, but here I don't have a benchmark time to share. So now you're able to generate fast uh, ECDSA proofs, but you get membership proofs. Uh, you still miss something, you need nullifiers. I like to compare them to nonce for transactions. It prevents you from doing something twice. Uh, if you think again about this, anonymous airdrop, uh, you can't identify people, but you still want, don't want them to be able to claim twice. So you still need something to tell people apart. You need a nullifier. And this nullifier needs to have some specific properties like being unique, deterministic, or not acquiring the uh, secret key for verification. 
And these properties are hard for ECDSA, especially because ECDSA involves some randomness. Uh, the most promising solution for this nullifier challenge is Plume for pseudonymously linked unique message entity. It's an ECDSA nullifier scheme um, built by Ayush Gupta and Kobe Gokan. It fulfills the properties we were looking for. And yeah, and this is the only equation you will see in this talk. Uh, most important, here are links to two pull requests. Uh, one is the ERC, uh, uh, Plume ERC. The other is um, adding a JSON RPC method to MetaMask. I haven't contributed to them, but I'm looking forward to them being merged because it will unlock a lot of cool applications. As example of these applications, next uh, is a list of projects that use ECDSA and membership rooms. The first one, Anon Club, is what I've been working on during the past year. It fetches on-chain anonymity sets and builds from it uh, ZK pro um, membership proofs so that you can claim things like, I own an address that has at least an arbitrary amount of an arbitrary ERC20 token contract. Uh, unfortunately, it's built with Circum ECDSA, so it's a bit slow and uses a backend server for approving. Mapping Edge is part and ECDSA. Uh, is create from personal lab, sorry, that uh, use part and ECDSA, so they are able to build um, proofs in the browser. Then ZK Web Authentication focuses not on ECDSA for Ethereum signatures, but ECDSA for uh, biometrics and devices like Touch ID or Face ID, and combines it with uh, wallet abstractions. Uh, finally, ZK Shield uses membership proofs to build a um, multi-sig wallet where the owners are hidden. Thank you very much. Thank you, Pierre. Uh, I think we have time for questions, if there are any. Yes, for me, just like, what are next steps for CKD, ECDSA, like the, the project? Uh, Awesome. Thanks. Oh, uh, one more question, one more. sorry. Uh, since you, uh, actually it's uh, not directly your to uh, talk. Uh, since you did so many research uh, signatures and uh, especially uh, hash and signatures for ZKP, uh, I'm wondering if any, like say, signature or hash function uh, is like uh, uh, addition homomorphic. Uh, I mean, uh, do you know any hash function actually is uh, uh, additional homomorphic, which means it's not a folly, but plume yeah, plume, yeah, yeah. I, I'm also, yeah, I'm curious about that actually. Um, I don't know, like, but I don't think it's homomorphic because it's not a property that we like to use. I, I Although I'm not sure, but I don't think it is because it's not a property that we are looking for. But uh, if you want a better answer, the best for you is to look at the plume paper and you should find the answer. Okay, thank you. Awesome. Some applause to go here. Thanks so much.